Now the Bible gives us a test of how to find out whether a thing is from God or not. Beautiful, beautiful. In the second book of Timothy, Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16, every Christian, went, in previously they were quoting this, but they have gone out of now. It seems to be worn out, this, this verse. 2 Timothy 3, 16, it says, All scripture is given by inspiration. Scripture means the holy book, given by inspiration. Allah's wahi. And is profitable for doctrine, number one. For doctrine, teaching, what you should believe, what you shouldn't believe. Doctrine. For reproof. You do something wrong, say, look out. You see, you do such and such a thing, you are adultery, so you'll be stoned to death, or whatever. You steal, so go to jail, whatever. Reproof, look out. Doctrine, reproof, correction. I say, no, 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 not like this, my son. You know, this is the way to do the job. Or instructions unto righteousness. Four. And I'm asking learned men of Christendom, can you find a fifth heading under which you can put the word of God? Fifth. I haven't come across one in 40 years. No Christian with the name has ever been able to come forth with a fifth. I said, nor can I. I'm not saying that I'm cleverer than you. I can give you the fifth one. Beautiful. Anything, if it is from God, it must be under these four headings. It must be your doctrine, reproof, correction, or instructions unto righteousness. Right? He says, right. So I said, right. Now let's analyze. I give you one verse. Just one verse. From the book of Judges. Chapter 16, verse 1. Book of Judges. Chapter 16, verse 1. It reads... Then Samson, Samson went to Gaza. Look, Gaza is in the news. You know where Gaza is? Yes, these this Jews are, you know, knocking and you know, killing our children there. That's Gaza. Gaza and West Bank. Gaza and West Bank, you keep on seeing it on your TV. Gaza. If I said this about a month ago, you wouldn't know where Gaza is. Here, yeah, you know now Gaza. You know where Gaza is? So Samson went to Gaza. And he saw a harlot. Harlot, a whore, a prostitute. He saw a harlot. He saw a harlot there and he went in and to her. Full stop. Halas. That's all. What more you want to know? I'm asking, where does this fit in? Into the word of God. This guy goes to Gaza and he see a harlot, a whore, and he goes in and to her. Finish. God doesn't give him AIDS, He doesn't give him VD, He doesn't give him gonorrhea, nothing. He doesn't reproach him. Hey, what the hell? You know, Moses said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. That the adulterer and the adulteress must be stoned to death. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Not one word. Go and read the whole chapter. You will never find another word. So, where does it fit in? If it doesn't fit into your doctrine, nor to your reproof, nor to your correction, nor to your instructions unto righteousness, then it fits under pornography. <laughs> you give me another heading. It's pornography of the highest order. Glorifying adultery. Little wonder that Ian Fleming, the guy who did the 007, you know, James Bond. I saw it, you know, from Russia with love. <laughs> I did see it. You see, you just, I, I was shocked, really, I was shocked, you see. This guy, James Bond, 007, he goes, wherever he goes, he sees a beautiful woman, and he goes to bed with her. He goes somewhere else, he sees another beautiful woman, he goes to bed with her. It's as, as easy, it's like eating peanuts. <laughs> Where did he get the idea from? Ian Fleming. I said, yeah. Samson goes to Gaza, he sees a harlot, and he goes in and to her. No, you're laughing. You see, they're making a mockery of God. If you said this is God's word, you're making a mockery of Him. That's why I'm showing you all this. But it makes people to laugh. Not only look, you just wait a little. You know, you're going to burst out laughing. Wait. 